quarter past and I've got no bridesmaids or any brides. And it starts in 15 minutes. But I'm all right, I'm excited. But I need to shift, because it's quarter past. So, um, I'm ready. But Linda isn't. I think they've wrapped it round, haven't they? There you go. Lift it up and then hook it. Up. Half an hour later, with the ceremony now running 15 minutes late, there's still no news from the bridal party. Have a sit. I know. I oh, know, thank you, I appreciate well, what this. what we could do, James, because the most key thing is that you get married and you enjoy your day. I so know. let's get but married. But is it the most important thing to her? And this is what I'm worried about, because this is where <laughs> things start to... Go wrong? Could they be any worse? Everyone's finally ready to go, but now there's a problem with the cars. We're going to have to do two journeys, I think, still, aren't we? The thing is, we're not going to have the time to do it. It's the only chance we can get the bridesmaids in the car all together. We can take three in one car and three in the other, but that means, no, it can't be possible. My daughter and the father go separately. Knowing that Linda's in no mood to be flexible, her mum offers to travel separately. You two girls. But I'm not starting with that yet. Take on. I will be there. I will not miss your day. Right, don't worry. Don't worry I, I want you lot to take the first two cars then. No, 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 no. I want you to take the first two cars. I will wait. Because the show can't start without me. You need to be. No, go. And he can wait. Pete? Yes. There's a problem with the cars. What's They will only take two in each. Well, three. Fine. So Linda's saying that she wants yeah. to wait here. As soon as we can come, you go. Okay. Go on. Right then, so we'll see you in so a bit. So we'll see you. Right. See you in a bit. That's all right. It's no problem, Tom. Words got back that the bride is still at home. With the ceremony now running an hour late, Makeney Hall's wedding coordinator steps in. Is there anybody okay. that can bring her here? Um, the answer is no, we're going to have to get a taxi. But will Linda go with that? Unfortunately, because of the logistics, okay. it's either we get married or we don't. And I know that's really harsh. I wouldn't but... tell her that. No, no, no. But... <laughs> let, let me have a word with Linda, maybe a little bit more tax free than that. There's a telephone call for you. Who is it? From Sam. He wants to speak to you. Yeah. Hi, Linda, how are you? Fine, what? Okay, please, great. please don't say what you're going to say, Sam, because I'll go mad. OK, so you wouldn't like your dad to bring you to the... I wouldn't. Let's just put it this way, the day is ruined. Okay. You don't know how mad I am. Um, well, the two options we've got is either waiting sort of about an hour for the cars to come back. And obviously that really squashes everything in the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Or getting the cars maybe to meet you sort of three quarters of the way out, sort of quarter of the way here. So I have to swash my dress in their car that's got dog hairs in it. Is that pretty much a no? Yeah, it is a pretty much a no. At the end of the day, he will have to wait. This is his mess. He can wait and he can explain to everybody why I'm not there. <laughs> OK, then. Bye. No problem. He wants my dad to bring us in their car. What's the, what's the verdict? Well, the last phrase was, OK, then, bye. So take a guess. She's waiting for the cars to come back. Let's send the cars straight away and get here as fast as we can. All right. Thank All you, right. Helen. Not a Cheers. problem. My pleasure, my darling. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go down here for a second and kill myself.